I, I think one of the other reasons that I'm thinking about that I, I would love to get your take on that is being able to measure it, right? It's like, I can't measure my brand, right? It's this sort of elusive thing that happens in the air that is sort of in the ether. Totally. Well, I think there's uh, there might be folks that are much more sophisticated in, in attribution than I. I think there's a simplistic way to think about it, which mm -hmm. is, um, you know, we're hosting a, an event right now on, on Sling Show. Uh, there's I'm not sure how many people are, are tuned in right now, but say there's, you know, we'll, we'll stroke the ego. There's 10,000 people logged in right now. <laughs> uh, these are now 10,000 people that, you know, you potentially can pull into your marketing automation system, right? They registered on Sling Show and now there's like consent to potential email. Um, as folks do that, there's like the unique net new people that came in. Some might've been through some social amplification that, you know, you guys did, or I did, or somebody else might've seen a post. Um, it could have been email that went out to your, your customer base that got forwarded. And we're going to be able to say after this, like this, these are how many net new people came into the funnel. And then these are how many people that were in our funnel already, whether they're, we're talking to them about a product or not that are engaging with us and they're coming and they're, you know, uh, they're, they're participating in this program. So they're in, right there is a indicator, a measurement of, um, of value, right. Or of engagement with the brand. Now, not everyone's going to be, you know, uh, buying software afterwards, but, um, a good proportion of people hopefully might. And then that's how we sort of start saying, all right, so who of the people that are engaging are, you know, showing signal that they might be ready to buy the product. You might use more traditional demand gen tactics there, lead scoring, um, you know, for the right healthy leads, you might have a BDR call into those accounts or whatever. Um, and so I, I, I can't think of anything that we've ever done that didn't have some type of measurement. And maybe I'll, I'll give you one that was the furthest away was we recorded a hip hop song, uh, yes. all about customer success. Uh, and we, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, you can listen to it now. Very hard to track a Spotify listen uh, into a to an enterprise software deal, um, but what we did find is when we actually released the song, um, we got a little spike in traffic because we had something compelling, a cool piece of content that went out there, um, and that spike in traffic we could correlate to contact sales form fills and you know demo requests and all that sort of thing. So while it's not perfectly attributable, what did we do that week that was different that caused some type of activity? You know, I think we can we can. Uh, create some type of, uh, we, we can draw kind of a line to it uh, and, and make a case for it. Um, so I don't, I, I don't, I, I understand how brand in general is somewhat ambiguous because we can't kind of give you the, the full kind of roadmap to that customer journey and how they became a customer, but you can get pretty close. And I think close enough that a CFO would appreciate it um, and be able to, to believe in it.